I'll now turn it over to Mike to explain NEC and the code changing process. Mike, who decides these changes? Thanks, Phil. I'll be happy to talk about that. It's, it's basically the public. The answer to that is the public. Uh, anyone can submit a public input to change uh, the NEC or any other NFPA standard. And NFPA is an ANSI accredited standards development organization and they follow ANSI's essential requirements as an SDO. And this is a process that's open, it's transparent to everybody, and uh, it involves a consensus established through code-making panels, which are subcommittees of the NEC committee as a whole. The NEC committee as a whole is made up of a correlating committee and 18 code-making panels. And, uh, the process uh, is you, a three-year process. Uh, ANSI's essential requirements requires that uh, standards and codes be updated at least on a five-year cycle. This one is on a three-year cycle. Uh, Mike, I understand there are some articles that were added and deleted, and there were some that were combined. Can you speak to this? Sure, I'd be happy to, Phil. Uh, there, there's essentially four new articles that evolved from either relocation or combining new information and uh, incorporating uh, new requirements for a new wiring method. Article 242 uh, addresses uh, over voltage protection and really it's the combination of former Article 280 and former Article 285. Both of those articles dealt with respectively surge arresters in Article 280 and surge protective devices in Article 285. So they're now in Article 242. And uh, Article 311 actually evolves by combining the over 2,000 volt provisions in Article 310 with the installation and construction specification requirements in former Article 328 dealing with medium voltage conductors and cables. Article 337 is new and is titled Type P Cable and introduces a new wiring method into Chapter 3 of the NEC. Essentially, this, this type of cable is a very hard usage and characteristics and is commonly uh, used in uh, in marine applications, uh, shipboard and marine applications, you see this wiring method commonly used on uh, oil drilling platforms uh, out, in, out in the ocean and so forth. In Article 800, while it's not new, it just contains the general requirements for communication systems. And Article 805 actually evolved with some of the work done in Chapter 8 to uh, consolidate all the general requirements for the Chapter 8 articles into Article 800, and the specific requirements formally found in Article 800 are now located in a new Article 805.